Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room. So today we're going to create a scarecrow mini pocket litter. So I'm going to start off with some plaid papers. Let's see. Let's do two and a half by three and a half. And then we'll use this blue two and a half by three and a half. Okay. And that's all the cutting we're going to do. So because it's a scarecrow mini pocket letter, we have to add a scarecrow, of course. <laughs> so I've got a scarecrow sticker that I'm going to add on there. But first, I'm going to do some fibers, some straw fibers here. Debating, do I want to put it in the inside or just on the outside of the pocket? I'm kind of thinking about putting it on the inside just to kind of keep it kind of contained. As you can see, it's very messy. Okay. gonna put some hot glue down and see how much of it we can get to stick in there. This will be our middle pocket so we'll get as much as we can on there. More of the bigger stuff. I guess we can go ahead and put our scarecrow on there. Kind of keep some of those fibers tamed a little bit extra <laughs> with the sticker. some of it for the other one. Looks like it's sticking on pretty nicely, so that's good. Kind of looks like a bird's nest. <laughs> that's what most birds end up doing with scarecrows anyway, don't they? <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys about the bird that was last year trying to make a nest on our lamp. And I, I kept hearing this, um, eh, well, I'm going to say it's pecking noise, but <laughs> I didn't know it was pecking noise at first. I thought it was just like somebody doing construction, like maybe hammering on the side of the house. And I was like, what the heck is that? And it was going on for like a week. And I was like, they have to be done by now. And finally, I found out that there was a bird on the little light, or porch light. Essentially, it's porch light, even though we don't have a porch. <laughs> and it was trying to make a nest on top of our light. And it kept, you know, trying to pack down its nesting material. But instead of 
it packing down, it just kept taking the um, light frame and moving it away from the house. So it was, um, trying to find a way to get this trash all piled. <laughs> it's not in my way anymore. It was like almost breaking the porch light off of the house because it kept trying to pack its nest in. So I was trying to find ways to, I wanted it off of the lamp, but I didn't want to do anything harmful um, to the bird. So I just took, I just kept scraping the, <laughs> the um, nest off, but she just kept coming back and rebuilding her nest. So finally I decided that I was gonna do some major pest control. <laughs> and I ended up just spraying some, I think it was just air freshener, around the lamp. And I think the smells made her decide that maybe that wasn't the best place for her to be building her nest. <laughs> Put these in, ah, in the trash. Okay. Let's get our... That's kind of all the ideas I had <laughs> up to that point. So, I'm actually debating. What do I want to add along with it? I know I want to do some of this on the side. Because it looks rather scarecrow-like. Just some burlap, orange burlap. Kind of thinking just some bling would be kind of cute. And the one with the scarecrow. I keep on to say skeleton. That's because I don't generally say scarecrow in my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> don't really say skeleton either, but with it just being um, Halloween time. Kept saying skeleton over and over because of it. Um, let's do... I should have got hot glue all over me, probably from the hay, <laughs> straw, whatever you want to call it. Thinking about adding these flowers. Do I want to add a banner? That's what I'm thinking. I think I kind of want to. Oh, actually, got this piece. That'll be cute. Do two different kinds of banners. Give it a little bit of interest. <laughs> And then just a flower button. It kind of gets lost on that paper. Alright, let's do some gems. Some bling. One, two, three, four. 
five, six. Whoa, we were supposed to cut. There we go. really like the bling on there. That looks really nice. It's looking so good. Gotta decide what I'm gonna add to. Well, I don't really need to add anything to the side. I think it would be nice, but it's not necessary. one is definitely going to be too bulky to go <laughs> in a normal envelope business unless you did it might be okay with two stamps but I think I'm going to end up taking it to the post office just to be sure come on it's kind of annoying with all the stray hay <laughs> uh, I feel like I do want to add maybe some pumpkins. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking maybe pumpkins on the actual pocket would be cute. That's so cute. I love it. Okay, let's add some goodies. We've got a bunch of leftover papers here. Let's add those. We can use those for banners or anything really. Let's add some pumpkins. There, you belong in somebody else's <laughs> project. <laughs> some trim, and then some other trim. Very orangey themed. <laughs> Orange and yellow. All right. Now that turned out so cute. I love it. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today to make our scarecrow mini pocket letter. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a crazy day. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.